So what has been happening with Evernote in 2019? The last few weeks have been fairly silent for the large note-taking application, but there's a few bits of news worth sharing with you all, and maybe it's a useful to update all those Evernote lovers on this channel. So Evernote haven't been too much in the news in the last few months. Since their new CEO, Ian Small, joined, the main reason they've been quiet is because Ian's focus has been on the core experience of Evernote before releasing brand new features and brand new updates. Now, in terms of major news that has surfaced, it's been both good and bad. So, like always, let's start with a bit of the bad news. So a few weeks ago, a bug surfaced for Mac OS users, allowing those who followed a web address to launch Evernote locally. I want to get this right, so I'm going to quote from the article that I found this one on. Now, this would allow an attacker to remotely execute malicious code on a target Mac OS system, provided that it had Evernote installed, once they click on a file opening link. Now, this was discovered by a security researcher in Dubai, and Shelby Busan from the spokesperson at Evernote has noted that the bug has been fixed and they're appreciative to the researcher about addressing it with their team. Now, I will include the full article on this below, but of course, there's a little bit of a painful bit of news for the likes of Evernote. Now, next up, some good news. Evernote actually released a Gmail extension. Now, this is something to do this to being focused on preparing too. This allows you to save emails into notebooks adding tags too, and it's quite a smart little extension, and you can find this on the Gmail area. I'll include all of the information below. So Evernote as a whole, so of course they've had these updates, but has anything been surfaced from Evernote that is coming soon? Well, in their last webinar, they focused on speaking about the overall experience, stating, we've been developing five separate platforms, which makes it difficult to innovate or fix bugs quickly. This just stems from original product strategy, which was set in motion 10 years ago, and it takes time to rebuild the foundation that Evernote is built on, while maintaining a consistent and non-disrupting experience for our customers. But this is going to allow us to build a stronger, faster foundation for future innovation. We're focusing on overall product experience, improving existing features rather than creating more. A great example of this is the note editing experience. They've stated, we don't want to announce new features for fear of breaking promises. We will prove it to our users by solving the pain points and not just talking about them. Ian has deliberately created space for the company to focus on what we need to do for our customers. Now, touching on this new editing experience, I've had the opportunity of briefly playing around with the preview edition of this. I can't show you it yet because it's only available on the beta, but there's only small changes that are available on web. But this might give them more framework for consistency across devices and a slightly more open feel to add on to in the future. I think they've respected more of the interactive experiences and do see apps like Notion as a competitor. Now, although I can't share you the experience, there's no official date on this new experience release, but fingers crossed they roll it out in Q2 or earlier. Now, whilst I don't think this is gonna revolutionize the Evernote experience, I think it definitely starts to clean it up. This new editing experience does look a lot better. So guys, that was just a short update of what's happening with Evernote in 2019. I will continue to cover Evernote, and I know recently I've been really focusing on Notion, but that's mainly because of the course, and also a lot of you guys have been asking me those questions. So I really look forward to covering on this topic more, and I will cover the editing experience once it's fully launched. So guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today. Make sure to have a great day. If you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe for regular updates on Evernote, other such news. It'd be honestly great to have you in the community. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of Evernote in 2019. I will talk to you guys very soon. Cheers.